what it do. It's KC, the Red Pill Laugh. back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of the motherfucking neck, holding it down, locking it down, submerging it down at that motherfucking game. Damn right. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, pipe in high status. You're going to get it down your phone into your ear, our ear candy game. Oh, yeah. You got any comments, get at me at my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R E L L S F A R G O 1 2 at gmail.com. And remember to drop a donation and get at me. And also, fellas, remember this. Always remember this, man. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe, pass this shit around. It's the motherfucking message. I know I keep mentioning the Patreon. I'm just learning how to fuck with that motherfucker. It's kind of difficult. So if you fellas know anybody or if you know how to fuck with it yourself, reach out at, reach out to me, get at me in my Gmail, and holler at me, man. I do need a little bit of advice on that shit. Holler at me. It's kind of, I'm loading up shit, but I don't, I'm, I'm probably, I don't know. But if you got any advice about anything, um, it doesn't matter. Dating, financial, I, I done seen it all, touched it all. Get at me in the Gmail just as well, fellas. And always, always like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. Let's get to it. Don't be fooled by her social media status or looks. Not at all, player. And uh, a lot of guys get got like that. You see her? She's bad, fat ass, looking right, makeup set up right, you know. She's doing whatever she's doing in the video to captivate your attention, and you're loving it, and it's cool. You a man. This is what you want, you know, and she know you want that just as well. However, I call it like, I call it the bait and switch. It's like they'll bait you in, and all this shit is switch up, even their living conditions and everything, and ain't none of that shit up to par and up to standards. Like they presenting in those videos, like they presenting in those pics and those cameras. And you fellas must understand and gravitate to know that the majority of these women don't look like you think they would look. Not at all. They remove that motherfucking makeup, man. It's murderous. I mean, woo. Real shit, bro. And they can be the prettiest. My, us like, man, I don't know if the makeup do it to them or what or... Or they just fucked up like that. Who knows? But a lot of you guys do not be fooled by their social media. Not at all. Their status, the shit that they say they do, the shit that they say they get into and all that, you know, let's touch it. I've noticed that most men are so damn quick to fall for a chick on social media because of her looks, her status, you know, what she's driving. You know, how she made her body posture and all this type of shit. And you feel like, damn, this is the one. I got me one. This is the dime piece. Especially if she give you a little attention. She jump into your DMs. Oh, man, your shit, your shit on cloud nine. Your head blown up, man. It's all the way out there. But you're used to fucking with fives and sixes and fours or whatever. And it's okay. Most of them bitches are the same way. They take their makeup off, man, and... Or you see their attitude, you see the masculinity in them, you see the non-feminine that they, you know, that they actually don't have at all. They don't have no kind of femininity in them. Um, you know, you, you see how eager they are to be dudish like, like acting like a guy. And a lot of these females hide behind that facade with makeup. They hide behind um, a lot of shit that they throw up on their social media. You know what I'm saying? They gravitate to your attention. They get you because they know what you like. And then when they got you and they get to you and you fucking with them, you fucking them and you, you know you're doing your thing with them, you're trying to grow with them and then you finally see them for themselves. You be like, hold up, what the fuck? I signed up for this shit? Damn right you did, man. You weren't paying attention. You didn't vet out the situation. You didn't actually get to know her and that's how she played you. Let's go. If you have majority of women that follows you, and if you guys on my social media page or whatever, you see, I got a shitload of bitches, bro. That's in my, I mean, bro, I'm, it's a whole lot. Facebook, a shitload of bitches, you know, and they actually follow me and shit, you know. And, or, if you follow them, you'll see the same shit over and over and over again. 
either she's taking a selfie in her most beautiful form that she could ever possess, you know, display or come out with, or she's revealing her ass in a seductive way to gravitate, to get your attention, man. You know, yes, you have, you know, the so-called entrepreneurial women that sell us some hair weave, eyelashes, costume, jewelry, makeup, CBD oils, perfumes, you know, they, you know, uh, uh, whatever they selling, you know, you, you got those kind of women. However, we're not speaking on them. We're speaking on the chicks that have play in your DMs, stand you up, flake on you. And if you were too damn weak, they definitely, they definitely send you their cash app, Vimo, PayPal. They don't give a fuck. Can you do this for me? Can you send me this? Can you do, I want to get something to eat. I'm on, yeah, bro. But you, you going off her pictures. You going off the shit she's telling you. And you figuring, this bitch is cool. She 100. You know, she hit me with the good morning, good afternoon, good night. How your day been? How your evening been? How your night been? How all this type of shit. You know, she actually friends on me. Put you in that friends on for a long time, man. You got you lusting on her. You know, I, I just, I just set up and dealt with the shit. Dude, listen, I just set up and dealt with the shit earlier today. And we're going to talk about some shit I've been through the other day. But I set up, well, a few days ago. But I set up and dealt with a chick today that I met off social media, man. And she showed me her DM. Her shit was pinging, too. Like, somebody was hitting her. He hit her about four or five times. She like, this dude, this ugh, like, what the fuck? And this was like a little date. You know, we didn't go on a date. She came over to the pad, you know. You know, we end up rapping and shit through something in the air, you know, talking and whatever. I'm I'm, there, I'm I'm me, you know. So we start rapping, talking, and I'm getting a better rap to see what type of woman this is. She masculine as a motherfucker. She right, though. Chocolate, fat ass, she cute, she cool. But she's masculine, bro. She's she's some other, she either been through some shit through the ringer with her family, you know, and been touched, and, you know, and I don't want to put her business out there, but she, she's been through a lot of shit, you know, and. I look at it as a pump. You know, I'm not going to say a dump just yet, but it's definitely a pump. It ain't a take serious, man. Not at all. She's young, 22, 23. But uh, the guy was hitting her in her DM, like back to back. And she told me out of her mouth, she's like, damn, like this dude hit me with good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm a fucking goddess or something. Like, these dudes out here are so motherfucking thirsty. That's what she said. I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, this is real. This this is it right here. This is the videos I put out and the rest of these guys put out. This is it right here. You will hear from these women. If you get these women along and let these women talk to you, you know, and let them, you know, they feel comfortable enough to bring shit out, bro. Man, a lot of you guys are a motherfucker, man. And y'all don't, and y'all in the DM of these bitches, man, and. Y'all going off the looks and the social media and shit when these bitches ain't nut. I fucks with them, bro. They not what you think they are, bro. It's like, you're not missing shit. I, you know, you're not missing. It's, it's all in your mind, bro. A lot of you guys need to put down porn. That's what you need to do. Because porn fuck your mind up and how you thinking that you in a whole other world and this is what this. It's, none of that shit is what it is, bro. These bitches ain't shit. They ain't got nothing. They basic as fuck. They below average. Let's get back to it. You know, just understand that, bro. It's, it's crazy. You know? Some of you dudes be sharing pics with these chicks like these are the best looking women on earth. <laughs> with some of these, you know, with some of them are sexy as fuck, though. I can't lie. I must keep it real. However, one thing most men don't know, you know, is that you're buying into a scum-ass fraud. And let me explain to it. Now, check this out, fellas. These chicks are below the poverty line to the fullest with their living conditions and looks. Man, the majority of these chicks, man, the majority of these bitches, I'm going to keep it real, are fucked up looking in the face without makeup. And they deceive you, bro. Dude, I have smashed chicks from social media that you fellas would not believe. You know, whether you believe it or not, who gives a fuck, you know? And I'm not impressed at all. I'm just keeping it real. Their homes be on another level of griminess. I mean, filthiness, bro. The restroom where these hoes be getting their face together be looking like it's 
you know, fresh out of that Candyman Part One movie, when that little nigga ran into the uh, outside, into the uh, to the outside restaurant, that bust into that stall, that shit grimy, that bitch shit was foul, nigga, like real shit, bro. This shit just happened to me the other day, bro. And this is the chick I'm talking about a couple days ago, you know. And, I mean, dude, I, the bitch was cool on social media, man. The way she presented herself, I'm gonna get to it, bro. The way the chick presented herself. I thought she was on point with the way she lived. I mean, she definitely dressed nice. She looked nice, makeup, all that shit. You know, we know hair weave and all that shit. You know, shit was up to par. The shit looked bitch right, bro. Like, right, bro. You know what I mean? Man, she was pushing the BMW like a 2016 motherfucker was clean. You know? And her, you know, like I said, her car was clean as fuck, but her apartment was horrible, bro. It was horrible. I mean, horrible. I mean, the restroom, that bitch had shit stains and piss off. Hey, man, it wasn't even right, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I had to really, I smashed, man, but shit, I had to get that, I had to get the thought of that shit out of my head. Her restroom and shit, her dishes and kitchen, and I had to get that shit out of my head, man, just to get an erection. I'm gonna keep it real, man. That shit was that grimy, bro. I got that motherfucker though. I, I nailed. I did my thing. But other than that, man, I'm not fucking around. I'm not going. I'm seeing a lot of this, bro. It's like they have no morals. They have no class about themselves, you know. And a lot of older women are like this too. But the shitload of young women, they just I don't know what it is, bro. If it's in their water or what. But don't be deceived by this shit, fellas. You cannot be deceived by. It. You know. I said to myself, man, these chicks we want, you know. A lot out of us men. They be wanting a lot of out, of out of us. But don't have shit literally to put in it. You get me? They ain't, they ain't got shit to really put in it, but they want a lot from you. And when you get to know them, you're like, what the fuck? How you want to take How you want to be taken serious? It's, it's no way. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? How the fuck? I mean, how, how do you? I don't get it. Fellas, remember, all women are not like this. But most of them are. They are, bro. And don't be surprised you end up running across the majority of that than the majority of women that actually got their shit on point. Because it's out here like that. Some situations are really meant for a smash and dash moment. And that's what that was I dealt with a couple days ago. That was an actual smash and dash. I can't I can't come back. I can't not. Dude, I can't. Roaches and shit. I can't. In, two, in 2021? Come on now. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. And fellas, don't be deceived by that shit. The little three and four, the five that you been hitting, man, it's no different from them, man. They just probably got a little facial structure to look a little better. Body may look a little better. Throw makeup on that shit. Look clean clothes. Then you, yeah, make you think she a dime, man, when they really ain't. Bitches be looking like motherfucking ants and shit, man, by the face, man. Real bald head and shit. These bitches ain't shit, bro. Real shit, bro. They low hair, cut, low hair, and take that motherfucking shit off. Take that makeup off. You look at that bitch like, what the fuck? Skeletor like a motherfucker. Like I said, like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's a message and go Chiefs. Holla.